every year around this time of year, you might notice that the leaves on some trees will begin to change color and fall, but not all the trees. Now, why the heck is that? Well, this basically comes down to two different adaptive strategies that have evolved independently in different groupings of plants over millions of years. See, gymnosperms, or naked seed-bearing plants, evolved during the Carboniferous period about 250 million years ago and generally fall into the group that keeps their leaves on. Gymnosperms commonly include trees that reproduce via a cone, which we refer to as conifer trees or conifer trees, like this western hemlock here, which has needle-like leaves that are really waxy, highly durable, and able to withstand harsh elements, and these leaves are an evolutionary advantage that allows them to photosynthesize year-round. These trees are generally more slow-growing and longer-lived, and those durable leaves makes them really adaptable in far northern environments or rugged mountainous environments, yet those thick leaves also take a ton of energy to produce, so these trees don't want to get rid of them too early, generally hanging on to them for several years. Then on the other hand, you have angiosperms, or flowering plants, fruit-bearing plants, that evolved during the late Cretaceous period. And these are generally deciduous trees, like this big leaf maple here, which tend to have fairly fragile, thin, delicate leaves that can't withstand the same extremes, and they're also much easier and more energy efficient to produce. So instead of photosynthesizing all year long, they wait until the summer when the days are long and warm and they sprout a bunch of these really inexpensive leaves that can photosynthesize really well, allowing them to grow really quickly and make up for those lost days of the slow cold winter months before they throw them away again in the fall. Now generally, these deciduous trees are much better at colonizing new areas of disturbance since they grow so well in a short amount of time, but over the long term, they can't handle the same conditions that conifers can, so the two types of trees often inhabit various niches within their ecosystems. Now, nature is pretty wiggly, and it doesn't always fit easily into these silly little boxes that us humans like to put things in. So there are gymnosperm conifer trees, like larches, or broadleaf gymnosperms, like ginkgos, which produce deciduous needles and leaves, just as there are angiosperm broadleaf trees that keep their leaves on year-round, like arbutus. So it's not really a trait that can be easily generalized based on the classification of each tree, but instead is an adaptation that favors one type of energy expense to another that gives each species an advantage in the ecosystems that they inhabit. Nature may be wiggly, but gall dang it sure is neat.